when I started the course and asked the students their definitions of blackness, what it means, I got back six pages of negative answers and I realized I need to start this course in the here and now, figure out why do you feel this way about yourselves or about black people in general because there weren't just black students in the course. Challenging all of the myths of black inferiority, confronting the stereotypes and then getting into the history and starting from the present, then going to the past, then moving back to the present, really helps students understand how we arrived to where we are today. Black students have not had many avenues to learn their history. Um, there isn't a lot of presence of blacks in the history books. They haven't had the opportunities to see themselves reflected in their studies. So what I found was when they came in, when the class was piloted last year, they had um, a very low sense of cultural esteem, didn't view themselves in a positive light. And by the end of the semester, it was a complete opposite because I was telling them their story. So for a lot of them, they saw their surnames um, represented in what we were doing, especially when we covered local history. It was a sense of pride for them to understand that their history did not begin with slavery. It changed their history, but their history began on the glorious continent of Africa. So when we go back and study the early civilizations of Africa, it's almost like it was this sense of somebodyness. It was so meaningful to them, it was, it was relevant, they could relate, this was their story. So I really understood what it meant when they say, when children see themselves reflected, they will do better, because they actually did. I think teaching history in general is um, a course of inspiration, I really do. I think that it is a great way to teach our students character development. And um, I saw, as we went through the course, how many students changed who their role models were. At the beginning of the semester, they weren't very positive role models. They were either rappers or athletes, and not putting them down, but I mean, we're talking about role models here. And then it started to change. Um, and I remember one student in the course who is not of African descent, who said that uh, the biggest part of the course was that it inspired her as a female because of the black and white women that we studied throughout the course. I think for, for a lot of students, seeing someone who looks like them, seeing someone who might share their last name, who may have contributed to military efforts or may have um, uh, been responsible for schoolhouses built in this area, it was really inspirational to them to understand that hey, my people were founding peoples of this area and this country, and I too can follow in those footsteps. This year, the course is full. We have a waiting list, and I have one student who um, couldn't get in, but she comes in here every day on her spare. She does all the work. She's handed in every assignment, even though she won't get the credit. I also have um, two other students that come in maybe three times a week, sit in on their spare. I have um, a student who's taking the course again, even though she received an A. Their spirit is just amazing, and two of the students who were not of African descent both discovered last year that their families had a role in the Underground Railroad um, in this area. So uh, it was just amazing, some of the stories that came out of it, and the students, all of them, regardless of where their ancestors came from, left here inspired and asked, could I petition for a part two of the course? So it's very inspirational. It's inspirational to me as a teacher to learn and teach something I'm so passionate about.